All right, we are here with um we're here with probably I don't know, man. <laughs> Definitely. I've not I'm not, you know, I'm no pedophile or nothing but <laughs> You seem like a damn. You seem like somebody that still gets molested by older people, even though you're how old? Uh, I'm 22. Yeah. Jesus, bro. I've never been molested. You haven't? I don't think so. Really, though? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I don't know means yes, dude. I gotta go call my fucking uncle. <laughs> Are you? Do you have an uncle? <laughs> yeah, I do. What's his name? Um, I have an uncle Jay and I have an uncle Scott. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> no, they're cool. They're cool. They're yeah, good. Sure, they are. <laughs> A lot of people block out trauma, Gianni. <laughs> uh, Gianni, put on those trauma blockers, dude. All right, stop talking about me getting molested. Let's talk about Anthrax Challenge number six. Christmas. Okay. Can do this. Yeah, Christmas. yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Welcome to uh, the Anthrax Challenge number six. Um, we've had no deaths reported yet. <laughs> we have had two people send in things that contain a good deal of broken glass. And we got something last week, I think, that was alarming. Who got? Anthrax CD. An Anthrax CD that yeah. came in the album. And a couple of people said that they were wishing that I got anthrax, so I'd never be back. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Well, we haven't killed him yet. We have. We still have our little uh, test gerbil right here, um, Giovanni Paolo, from um, where are you from again? Uh, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. Okay, which isn't even a real place or a real island. Dude, you grew up so. in the stray animal belt. What <laughs> yeah. the fuck are you talking? I about? Sure did, dude. <laughs> where are you from, Narnia? <laughs> where are you from, dude? Huh? Wisconsin. Oh, you're just gonna take the first one. Okay, I'll give you the first one. Merry Christmas to you, Johnny. Oh, and this is how Christmas so works. Okay, we have great. a gift right there. It has a card on it. We've had that one for a while, but it looked like a, such a nice Christmas gift. We wanted to save it. Thank you very much. And that is uh, Nick Davis is leading the charge here today. <laughs> Where's it from? Uh, it doesn't say a name, but it says, "Yo, here's some sanitizer so you can cleanse yourself after touching other people's gifts." Fuck anthrax, bro. Who knows what kind of people practice the dirty dark arts and touch this shit with their greasy nectar hands after a tugging sesh? It's a little aggressive. <laughs> wow, it's all valid points. Yeah, though. Yeah. To be honest, very true. Definitely. And a lot of people do masturbation and indoor and outdoor masturbation. You still masturbate? Uh, yesterday I did, but overall, no. Oh, was that was that our fault from after King of the Sting when we showed you pictures of baloney nipples? No, I'm trying to think of what <laughs> happened to me was, oh, I was up late and I was just feeling a lonesome and so that I decided to jerk Dude, off. Dude, I was alone yesterday. My Both of my brothers left my apartment. I, I think I did it like maybe six times. <laughs> well, <laughs> You've never done that? It's not funny, A. And B, <laughs> if you keep telling us about that and if you keep laughing like that, <laughs> like there are ill senior citizens hidden, <laughs> hidden in your body. Do not pull the mic close when you do that. <laughs> you are... He's horrible on the audio levels. But I will say, we don't, on this past weekend, talk about masturbation so flippantly. Generally. Yeah. Oh, we don't? It's something no, we, we don't. It's something we want to overcome. Oh, not, I'm sorry. Not, not celebrate. Oh, yeah. I'm just, like, I'm chilling though. Like, I'll do it and then I'll just, like, go hang out. Like, I'm not, like, thinking about it all the time. Do you just do it and then think about what you just did? Uh, First of all, dude, I try not to do it. Okay. <laughs> Second of all, bad, if I do do it, yeah. I usually take a nap after, like on the Nature Channel. Like a lot of animals, after they ejaculate, they'll rest. <laughs> you know, I'm not some dude who's coming and then <laughs> leaves the mic where it is. I'm not someone who's coming and then running around. <laughs> dude, I'm not running around. I can just do my day. Yeah, very scary. Oh, here's some guy that just came on himself at his house, and now he's over here buying socks. You know, <laughs> have some respect for other people. I think. Who sent the gift and quit laughing? <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys, we, you need to. So I got a gift right here from Damn Jones. And this is from a human named Damn, and I respect that. We used to have a, a guy named, by us named Donald Cuntman. This is just a bunch of hand sanitizer. There's no. And I got that Reeves blade, boy, one of the top 60 or 70 Reeves, <laughs> Reeves blades ever. Dude, watch out, dude. <sighs> Feel the weight of that baby, boy. That's like a damn nine pound baby Jeez, right there. Dude. Yeah, man. Why don't you go kill yourself? I mean, give it back to me. So that was just hand sanitizer <laughs> in that in that nice. That's it, hand sanitizer. Yeah, that's it. Just hand sanitizer. Well, announce what it is, Johnny. Somebody mailed that in to us for Christmas. It's germ. And show it to the sanitizer. show it to the camera. There's no name on it. There's not a name on the box. No card. And then Damn Jones sent me this. And this might be the Bible, maybe. What is it? Propit propit propitiation. Propitia. Propitiation. Don't try to be funny here by damn Jones. <laughs> show it to that cut cam. I'll show you that cut cam right there. And this is a book that somebody wrote, and it's very rare you see a book that is on, 
usually it's black ink on white paper and they did the flip on here innovators i'll read a couple of quotes from it i'm real sorry about daisy your mama was a light in a dark world and then i remember sheriff so obviously this is a real who done it <laughs> thank you damn for sending in your book that you wrote for me to read and uh, I will in, I will spend some time in it. I like mysteries, dude. And I knew some people that got murdered. So, <laughs> wait, what's know? the story behind that? That's life, brother. That's what the dang story is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is for Brian and Brendan. So this we'll put under this tree for the boys next door. <laughs> Very sweet, Johnny. What you got there? Um, okay, I got something. F again, with no name, it just says uh, it's from Amazon. Um, in Vegas. Okay. Open that bad boy up. That could very possibly be just uh, equipment for the podcast, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> and I have some no, right here books. Oh, nice, nice. High Ground Apparel. What are those, Gianni? Um, mating in Captivity. Oh, wow. That's my life story. And The State of Affairs. Rethinking Infidelity. Are they both by Esther, per Esther Pearl? Perel? Is that one by Esther Perel? This one is, yep, by Esther oh, Perel. Oh, yeah, so then she must, have, she must have wrote these. Wow, a lot of information here. So we have books by Dam Jones. These are New York Times bestsellers. Mating in Captivity takes a hard line against one of the most time-honored institutions in human history, the sexless marriage. It reads like a cross between the words of Jacques Lacan and French woman don't get fat. <laughs> I've seen some big French, boo-boo. She's cute, though. Is little, she? Yeah, nice little... Oh, very, very cute lady. Psychotherapist, too. So she's not going to let you really relax oh. during dinner, I'm sure, you know? <laughs> and that's Esther Perel, A Fresh Look at Infidelity. Uh, thank you for these, Miss Perel. I could probably use both of these, so I'm going to peep some of that. What do we have here? A bag of uh, soft linens, it feels like, and this is from High Ground, it says... High ground apparel. Watch out for the knife. I don't want to grab it. Yeah, stay away from me. <laughs> okay? Stay away from me until we're really friends, <laughs> which hasn't really happened yet. And look at this beautiful little shirt. Is it cool? Yeah. And what does it say? It says, uh, High ground. High, ooh, ooh. high ground. I mean, it's a big one. It smells strong, boy. Oh, man. That's that relapse. That's, that's for Mr. Sasso. That thing's extra, extra large, you know? That's that relapse cardigan. This ain't for Mr. Sasso. You couldn't put one of his kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> but high ground apparel sent some, and they definitely, the paint is fresh on those. They might have painted those. They might have I feel uh, like we Sherwin never Williams. let Nick open them. Isn't it so exciting, like, open these? Like, Nick, if you want to come in and f cut one open. Yeah. Right? You just got invited in. Yeah. Don't invite other people over to people's houses when you just got invited, boy. You know how to fucking behave? You little fucking I take, turtle. I take great pleasure on your guys' faces watching you open them. I don't uh, need to. You didn't think that was a nice thing to do to invite Nick? I to... thought it was very nice. We just don't have enough seats. No, I'm just saying to come over and maybe open one up on the... I, I'm doing stuff back here. It's a whole, it's he's fine. busy back there. Look at all the stuff he's all right, doing. Dude, stop pointing at people with <laughs> their knives. You're making one. me Nick nervous. Nick got me this one. Let's yeah. speak in a Nick. Yeah. I thought we should have saved that one for last. What'd you but... get me, Gianni? <laughs> I didn't get Give me any. some Advil because I'm tired of listening to you. <laughs> Loud little white Japanese ass, dude. This, this is custom built. Is it? Yeah, this was not a gift. This was. Is it a window a from Theo's for Theo's brother? This is a purchase. Oh, this might be a peeping Tom bring your own window. <laughs> yeah. That's an old trick. <laughs> oh wow, Nick! You got nice burlap sack. Oh yeah, and this is a hundred percent lap, isn't it? <laughs> That's beautiful. You got you a potato sack. Oh, what is it, man? Is it New Orleans Saints? Is it the King? It's Louisiana. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, dude. The state Louisiana flag. Dude, that's dope. Hold it up. That's a bird on there too, huh? Union, justice, confidence, and they spelled everything right. Would you have known that's what the flag says? Yeah. Had, had you been asked? No, I, I wouldn't have. <laughs> and that's beautiful. That's a pelican, man. That's a brown pelican right there. And that, that comes from our, our guy, Nick, at Legacy Flags. He's gifted us a couple American flags, but this one I had made special. 
Wow, man, that's awesome. Thank you very much. And he put a dark blue on here. That's that Louisiana State flag. Nice. And that's Nick at Legacy Flags. Mm hmm. Uh, Guess and, I'm the most least like employee now here. <laughs> Fucking this past weekend. Yeah, you're an intern. You're not even under contract. <laughs> so it's not true. Very could be the last afternoon you ever spend in this building. <laughs> <laughs> but you're handsome, I and mean, you can see the guy on Power. He plays a 16 year old drug dealer on Power. I do. <laughs> Power season six. Yeah, another white guy selling drugs to dark people, man. <laughs> really my mean. my business associate is uh, is actually African American. Is he really mm -hmm. good? Yeah. Well, what do you mean good? I'm just saying. All types of people sell drugs. I know. I bought them from all types, dude. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's, thank you, Nick. This is awesome. Very nice. Thank you, Nick. You don't get it, Gianni. Yeah. You're welcome, Theo. Thank you. Very sweet of you. <laughs> yeah, I think this will kind of make the studio our own a little bit more. Man, it is bit. hot as fuck. I know. It's it? already starting to get hot. <laughs> Wait, can we open the door? You, you guys don't have to hold it up anymore. I feel like that might be That's making it hot. <laughs> That's a good point. Can we open the door? Oh, it's a little... It's a little elf costume. Oh, that! Oh, we've a little church outfit. That was actually ordered uh, one day shipping for our Will Sasso episode, and it did not arrive in time. But they've already refunded us. So. They have, and oh, they so still we got, sent it. We yes. got it for free. We got a free. We got a free costume. Santa's little hipster. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy will buy. Uh... Gianni should absolutely have to put that on right now. Fuck. <laughs> Should I put, put it, it the, on? The, I'll put it on at the end of the episode. Yeah, it's the end is now, you freak. <laughs> Get it on. Santa's little helper do they're busy this time of year. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I think that's it. Get in there, Johnny. This is from Black and Gold Sports Shop. Uh oh. <laughs> Who that said they gonna beat them Saints? Let's it see. It looks it. like a Saints thing. Does it? Yeah. Let's see that beautiful piece, man. We knew it was gonna be Saints when he said Black and Gold Shop. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> that 504, boy. It's pretty fire, huh? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. It's cool. It's all. Uh, it's almost not that cool, but then it's cool. Do they? Do, how come everyone sends you such big shirts? They think you're a, a, a burly guy? What do, what do you think? I'm a, I can fit into a large shirt. Oh, you look like a medium. I'm 38 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Nobody's a medium 38, dude. <laughs> you know, unless they were raised in Mark like a... Mark Wahlberg's a fucking small dude. That guy's walking around in smalls. Wow. The zen of listening. Mindful communication. Who's that from? In the Age of Distraction. Rebecca Z. Shafir. Book of the Year award winner. <clears throat> or they just wrote that on there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say from where. Poor listening is a cause of divorce, depression, burnout, customer dissatisfaction, low school performance, and malpractice suits. Wow. Yeah, I need to learn to listen better. I love that. Thank you very much for that. Rebecca Shafir. Let's see. To one of the best in both comedy and counseling, you're a true natural at both. We are so grateful f to have found your voice. Oh, Dr. Karen Sullivan. Thank you, Miss Sullivan. Sorry, I thought this was from Miss Shafir. You know, I've been having a tough time listening recently, actually, and I wish that I was better at it. So maybe this is, maybe even just having some focus on reading something will help me relax, you know? But does sweet of you to send this. So thank you, Dr. Sullivan. You got a lot of fucking light reading to do before next next episode. Yeah, because people care about me, Gianni. <laughs> okay? Unlike you, where your parents left you probably somewhere <laughs> years ago. Who knows where? Probably at a Gap Kids. <laughs> where did you shop growing up, dude? Huh? Where did you shop growing up? This place called Wieners. They used to have a, a big department store called Wieners. It went out of business. Um, and it was a good place to get Reeboks. <laughs> oh, this from a company called No Pete. And they sent me these shades. Actually, I remember they picked these out online. And sometimes we don't just like to do straight up advertising for some of these companies, but these things are those straight up hitters, huh? Damn, dude. Put them on, bro. Put them on, you little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm feeling fired up today. I know, dude. You're fucking angry, huh? You to... oh, I'm angry at you because <laughs> I don't want to be in here right now because it's hot. <laughs> wow. Keep them on now. Look at this, Nick. Oh, look at him. Dude. Dude, I feel like this is like after you get LASIK, you have to wear these. You know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> like, keep them, bro. Those are dope. I, I was just looking up. Uh, keep them on keep or leave. <laughs> Karen's I feel like unless you shoot a gun, like what's the point of fucking wearing these? You things? look like Brett the Hitman Hart. Yeah, dude. And I look like a lesbian. Jim Hart. <laughs> no, you need the white ones because you're more, you look a little more feminine. Oh, you can extend them. Dude, these will be perfect for the Rat King, won't they? Hell yeah. I, th I, I feel like that's... That's why they came. Yeah, 
<laughs> You're gonna see Dio, Dio transform. Really bring the ensemble together. Right <laughs> oh. Karen Su- Sullivan, who sent in the art of listening or the Zen of listening or whatever, she has called into the hotline before. She's a graduate of Harvard Medical School. Oh yeah, and, and she's down in. She came to the show in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes, sir. Someone wow. from Harvard listens to you, and she actually, I think, and gave she this, thinks he's smart. Gave this gift to the boys. Which may have been in here for a while. Yes, it has been. She, I remember she told me to give that to them, and I have not. Um, I'm going to read your book that you sent me, Miss Sullivan. Thank you. And I'll read her note right here. Everybody wants results. You have just received a pair of, oh, this is from the Glasses Company. You, you've just received a pair of no peat shades, and you're on the right path now. Results will follow. Dear motherfucker. <laughs> yes, Theo, we're talking about you. <laughs> Best regards, no peat founders, K&W. And these these glasses are from Rahan Katu, Turku, what, what Finland. Are, what are the point of them? Are they to like? Are there something Bro, medical or? If you want to hit the finish line, you better wear a finish <laughs> shit. You feel me? <laughs> you don't know how to. You don't know how to have a. You don't know how to embrace opportunity, you little idiot. <laughs> Times are changing around here, Rhode Island. <laughs> Basically, dirty Britain. A lot of people call it. Do they even have a flag? Yeah. What's a flag of Rhode Island, bro? It's just a white flag. No, it, people giving up. It's a white. It's a white flag. <laughs> it's a white flag with the. <laughs> it's a white flag with the, the uh, with an anchor on it. What's the gift? Yeah, that sounds real original. <laughs> what is the gift, dude? Rhode Island guy, and it's not even an island. At least if you're gonna be an island, get some chisels and break your fucking <laughs> state off of this country, you delinquent. Float out a little bit. At least a moat around it. Yeah, even I know that. Get a recent moat, you fool. <laughs> In praise of shadows. Junichiro Tanizaki. Oh, and they have a nut sack on there if you look at that, boy. <laughs> That's that uh, that roar sh- that roar sack test. You ever <sighs> did that roar shack or that roar sack? <laughs> Bless you. Nick's allergic to uh, <laughs> roar shack. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know what that is, Theo. Have you guys seen Innocent Man on Netflix? I haven't. You've never heard of a Rorschach test, Gianni? Mm-hmm. Ink block. Is it test? for your balls? It's it, the ink block no. test. They, wow, grow up. They show you pictures, and you gotta tell them what you see. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how they to see if out. you're crazy or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I actually did do one of those, and you were crazy. A hundred percent. What What's the show on Netflix you mentioned? Innocent Man. Um, is that the? This is a nice gift right here, and this is from Jeremy Montz, or Montez, from Whittier, California. And the funny thing is, I have a sister named Whittier. More anthrax? And it's another anthrax CD. <laughs> so, unless there's some dust in this one, then it's just the music. <laughs> hey, we're waiting to get poisoned. That's why we're bringing guys like Gianni in. And to be honest, I think we've had that one in a while, so he, he may have sent that in. Yeah, he was at the, the first same, anthrax at, show. at the same time. Mm, yeah. What about this right here from Gabrielle Ribon? No, that is a second Anthrax CD, though, Gianni. Two people. Oh, did really? It. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for sending in that CD, man. And I know you sent in one last week. Oh, it's another. Different. By Seven Curses. Zenobia and the Seven Curses by Gabrielle Reborg. Reborg. Ryborg. Theo, I hope I can inspire you well. Nye. Well. Why? You inspire me, Gabrielle Win or Weborg. Zenobia and the Seven Curses. Huh. All right, we got this one right here. I put these shades on this Rat King box. You got a picture of some real endangered species right there under the under the willful trapeziuses of Mr. Joe Rogan. <laughs> this past weekend right there. Some wording right there. <laughs> right there, different wording. And this says it's from, who's that from? Uh, Endeavor. Endeavor. No, he's a, the address on the upper left. It's from Baltimore. No, it's from Baltimore Pike in Kennett Square, PA. Oh, this could be anthrax then, because Baltimore, you <laughs> and, can get a bag of dope anywhere there. Mm-hmm. You can hit the damn Piccadilly, bro. You can get that fried chicken and a side item of straight up coke. <laughs> <laughs> You come at the Rat King, you best not miss. That's, That's right. a wire reference right there. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This could be anything, man. Oh, this is some clothing from Endeavor Company. Dear Theo, I hope you're having a good week. I recently discovered your podcast a year ago, but it's become one of my favorites. I appreciate how you can balance being funny with being honest about the mistakes you made in your life. Oh, it's hard to find meteors, but this new medium of podcasting allows people like you to meteor thousands of people like myself. Um... 
Feel right about it. I can throw your podcast and laugh and learn. Can't wait for the King and the Sting pod. Keep on keeping on. Thanks again. Much love. Daniel Ehrlichman uh, at Endeavor Athletics. So this is some of their items here. Why don't you put that on, Johnny? See how that looks. Gianni, you used to model, didn't you? What'd you model, man? I've modeled a little bit. I've done a little bit for, for what is it, Reebok I did. I Nobody think. believes that shit, dude. Just put the dang jacket on, bro. <laughs> we were joking, you fucking <laughs> idiot. That you does just, look like a nice jacket, You did though. some Chris Hansen modeling the other day. <clears throat> oh, that is a nice piece, huh? Which camera is it going to be, this one? Middle. Yeah, dude, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you, you look bad in all of them, brother. So don't even try it. <laughs> Uh oh, there's some clutch items right there. Now, what size are those? If those are M's, then it's those are M's. Yeah, I might give you these as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas, baby. Because I need L's. I don't know if you want to go monochromatic on your outfit, though. And we might have this. With my me undies on, <laughs> dude. I would be sweating so bad if I didn't have these on right now. And this is an M too. Uh, thank you very much. This is cool stuff, huh? Yeah, it's all for me. It does seem like pretty cool quality. Stuff. I don't know. It does look very oh, quality. Is, That's called Endeavor. This is sweet. You don't know how to cut, you idiot. Rhode Island, but I'd probably never cut anything. Just cut your loss. If you're my dad, dude, I would. Britain. if you were my dad, I wouldn't know rave how to do anything. Flag. Yeah, rave that white flag, that light. It wasn't even a heavy flag. Probably really light, too, because you were soft shoulders. Oh, this is a bag of crystals and horns. And this is beautiful stuff right here. <laughs> this is a squirrel and sons in insect, insect merchant. And this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about can change lives. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, a damn talon, you idiot. Look at that hawk talon right there. I'll show that on that talon cam. Can you see it on there? Yeah. And that's that talon cam right there, boy. S slide the Christmas tree back a little bit, but you can still see it. <clears throat> and that's that talon cam right there on that talon. Beautiful. What other items they have in there? Is there a <clears throat> note? I'd love to hear more about that talent. Yeah. So here's pictures. Here's a couple pictures right there. <laughs> it's That's a, a long squirrel note. doing something beautiful. Oh, God damn. Look at that little rat it's in from the From Nicola Nicola Hebson in, from the UK. Wow. Um, dear Theo, I felt compelled to join in the Anthrax Challenge. I am a 28-year-old artist from England, Britain. Um, I am an... England what? Uh, Europe. You, what do you mean England? Like England when Britain. Just testing you. <laughs> Go on. Failed. <laughs> I am on an eth I'm an ethical uh, taxidermist. I only use naturally deceased animals in roadkill. Look, honey, we all know when they're dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you shouldn't be playing with them. But I love this. I love what you're doing. Oh, my God. There is a frog playing with a bee, a bumblebee. We love a nice stuffed dead animal for the studio. Dude, we would. Squirrel and sons insect merchant i'm sorry go on i want to hear more from this young lady um okay she Whoa, said um, look at this mouse riding a pigeon <laughs> and those are real stuffed animals that the, i mean they're dead animals but now they're brought back to even life the travelers made with a roadkill pigeon and a mouse the cat brought in dead oh man thinking about doing that job and coming across a full pigeon on the road <sighs> jackpot very rare during halloween was, once we found a dead uh little i think it was a little uh swallow intact yeah, yeah. Fully intact swallow. It. Oh, and this is her, too. The dark artist herself right here. <laughs> Dude, these animals are really beautiful accoutrements, man. Yeah, there's, there's stuff on the back of them. There's, there's writing on the back of them that maybe explains it. Sheldon. He died of natural causes, and that's little Sheldon right there. Beautiful animal. All right. Do you think he'll die of natural causes, or do you think you'll get, do you think no. you'll get killed? I'll probably get killed. <sighs> Okay. I'm not going down like some pussy of <laughs> natural causes. <laughs> what got me when? Huh? A damp fucking spring? <laughs> Fuck. He that, asks dude. that question to everyone, so I'm like, I've never heard you answer it. He was my friend's pet, and when he passed away, she donated him to me. Now that is a friend till the end. That's porcupine. The travelers made with a roadkill pigeon. What'd you say about her? Photo of me working at my craft figure with my shop. Curiosity shop. Look at that pigeon, that Michael Jackson of fucking squirrels. <laughs> Belly dancing squirrel made with roadkill. Wow. These are beautiful. I'll give these to you, Nick. These are really beautiful. <laughs> um, I paint and I'm a jewelry maker. Mm -hmm. um, I have a traveling curi curiosity. 
curiosity shop that I tour around festivals in the summer and I sell unusual ju- jewelry and showcase my little museum I have created. Wow. I've worked so many uh, I've worked so many rubbish factory jobs in the past and couldn't imagine going back. I now do um, my art full time. I don't make much money, but I love what I do and it makes people smile. I thought I would share this with you as I listen to your podcast every week and absolutely love the auth- authenticity, humor, banter, and kindness. You're doing a great thing. I tell all my friends, and many of them are now joining in, I think it says. You have a growing fan base here in the UK. Please do a tour here one day. I love the community feel um, your podcast evokes and love hearing the calls from folk all over the world. Hearing people talk about their worries and shames and the responses Jesus. people say to them really warms my heart and makes me realize that everyone is a good person. Bro, read it with a little bit of heart. The lady wrote this with her hand her rambling heart through it like some kind of just <laughs> freaking just uber All right, I'm an actor. You, do you want me to like you want me to like act, you want me to like act it out? I don't want you to act it. I want you to have some actual feelings <laughs> right. like a human. Well, genre. I'm trying to get through it. It's really long. I don't want to take up too much time. Okay. All just right. do a, the last couple lines again and have a little bit All more right. care. <clears throat> Hearing people talk about their worries and shames and the responses people say to them really warms my heart and makes me realize that everyone is a good person. You know, they sometimes just lose their way. Amen. That's and good. And we're getting lost in That's addiction good. and That's depression. Good. That was much better. That was much Thank better. Thank you. Thank you very much, young lady. There's a lot of dope items here. A little mushroom that's caged up in a little aquarium. They got this piece of um, neck metal and it has a um, daisy in it. Very beautiful. And maybe we could hook her up if we any listeners have any dead animals. Maybe we could get yeah, just send them to her in contact to the mail. with each other. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. <laughs> Where you came from, aren't there dead animals everywhere? The stray animal belt? Oh, well, eventually, yeah. But they start off stray. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Squirrel and Sons Insect Merchant. That's a neat place. And that is NicolaHebson.com. Uh, thank you for that. And thank you for these nice items. A lot got, of beautiful items. We got item two rate. more. Okay. Or, or three. Pressed English daisy and real magic mushroom necklaces. Wow. That's cute. Thank you, young lady. Really, really nice. If I come do some shows in the UK, maybe you could come and you know, have your touring caravan after the show. That'd be cool for people to see. Ne- so, dead animals at the merch table? Oh, definitely. And you know we got them outside, honey. That's the dark arts. This Boo-boo. is a movie, uh, Jiu-Jitsu versus the World. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and nice. It came with a nice little... Um, Jiu-Jitsu versus the World. What is the Jiu-Jitsu art? thing you do? Yep. Oh, good, a monkey tackling an alien. There's a picture of the guy. Not oh, bad wow. looking. You know. His name is Dan Lewis. You want me to read the note? Uh, yeah, give me some of it. This is Jiu Jitsu. Right. Is this his his film? Um, oh, Well, we don't know. Yes, it is. Directed by Dan Lewis. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. It's not a sport. It's not a martial art. What does he say? It's Jiu Jitsu. Um, yo, Theo. Hope you're doing well. I'm writing you from the UK. Another one. Oh, wow. I'm a huge fan of the show and think you are hilarious. Anyway, I'm a filmmaker, and since I've heard you... Mo, that you've been mentioned. Oh yes, I heard you mention that. <laughs> I've been looking at it. I heard you mention that you've been thinking about. <laughs> I Get you've been... <laughs> through it, dude. Oh my god, I could have learned you just in the time you fucking spent spending this thing. Out. Don't take the mic with you when you laugh. How long do these power episodes take to tape? I can't even imagine. <laughs> Why? What are you guys talking about? Hurry up and tape one thirty. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm fucking. They call me one take wonder, baby. Nobody's ever called you anything. <laughs> Nobody's calling you, dude. You're in here hanging out with us with a bunch of recyclable stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, and I've been thinking about starting jujitsu. If you <laughs> let's go, dude. I gotta go get. <laughs> Hurry up! I gotta get a massage, you idiot. You're making everybody upset. <laughs> Okay, I'll say this, Dan Lewis. Thank you very much. Uh, you making me laugh too much again. Yeah, get away from me. <laughs> Jujitsu versus the world, and that's Dan Lewis. Thank you very much for this oh nice gift. Um, yeah, I do plan on getting into jujitsu, but right now I can barely move my neck, and so I got to do a little bit more yoga before I can make any forward moves. So I just want to at least have the chance to be motionful when I go into that place. So that's what I'm thinking about. You know, when I think about when I think about that. You don't Thank have you. much neck. You got to take care of what neck yeah. you'd have. Look at this. How did that happen? Can't even go that far. What's over there? <laughs> Who knows? You know? I'm, but basically, somebody's wor- waiting to get murdered. You know? If you're murdering me, murder from the right. I'll give you that fucking hint. 
because I got nothing over there. Hey, who's back there? You know? What is it? Something in the garbage. You know? Is that a raccoon? Could be anything. Thank you, Daniel. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the wonderful gifts today. Is this it? We have one more. I know one more after this. We have one more. This is from Nick Smith from Rock Island, Illinois. Strong name. Very strong name, Nick Smith. Probably one of the top 30 or 40 Nicks. <laughs> Picture me nicking. Ooh. Another Rat King. We sent a, he sent a Rat King. That's awesome. We got a Rat King collection now we're going to start. Very nice. And this is the Rat King from um, Middle Eastern. Mortal Kombat, I mean. TMNT. TMNT, dude. And Lockjaw. <laughs> Theo, big fans here in Illinois. We saw your show in Wyoming when you were here. We... My family, me, Nick, Lady Lindsay, and daughter Elka found this Rat King at a punk rock flea market. I thought you had to have it. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys, and Merry Christmas to you guys over there in Illinois. And um, we're going to do a, I, I think we're going to do a Midwest tour sometime, so maybe we'll do that soon. So we got two Rat Kings right there, you know? Pretty cool. So they're not flirting with each other, Johnny. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. Like they got someone else. They now. know each other. <laughs> Obviously, they both have rats on them and they're buddies. Okay, they don't need to look at each other. Hey, <laughs> no, okay. I'm going back to Illinois. These people are crazy. So, uh, I think mine's gender neutral. I, I have a gender fluid. Yours um, has very red eyes. Um. But thank you very much, and Merry Christmas to everybody from everybody here. At right, we got one more. We got one more. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking misery today, huh? I'm trying to get a massage. I can barely move my neck. I'll fucking massage you right here. You want to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's definitely not something that I want at the moment. Um, man, oh, what a cool smells thing. Good, dude. Does it? Yeah. Look at that hit. Smell that. <laughs> That's that hot paint. Oh, this has been worn, I think. <laughs> How come I always get the fucking long? Kool-Aid was way sweeter in 68. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that... Thank you very much. Who sent this in, Johnny? John Lennon? I think that's uh, Jerry Garcia. Yeah, oh. Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead is on the front. Yeah. It says, um, gang, gang, hope you enjoy your shit. I've been listening to your podcast for the past six months. Since I found your podcast, I can honestly say you make me smile, cry, and contemplate and contemplate. You make your listeners feel at home, even when they're, um, even when they're, even when they're not. Keep the positivity alive and spread that baby. Spread that baby. Jerry Garcia from the Grateful Dead. Merry Christmas. This one of one tea is meant as a shirt to spread that love and color to others. High on life. If you can't be on acid, love the Deadheads. And that shirt does smell like. You smell that, Nick? No, I didn't. It smells I really you... good. Mm. That's God. That's the Lord. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for sending in the shirt, and it's uh, you know it's something I can see if I'm going to play with a child or be outdoors or do balloon fighting. <laughs> it's something I can see do water balloon fighting, not just flat empty balloons. That's insane. <laughs> but thank you for all the wonderful gifts, man, and Merry Christmas to you guys. And I hope um, you know, I hope you have a wonderful time with you and your family, even though Christmas already happened when this came out, Nick. And thank you for a year's worth of wonderful gifts. And um, I'm grateful to have Nick in here. Thank you very much, Nick. And little Gianni. I thought you were going to say something mean, but thank you. I wanted to, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm letting the Lord just ride out through my lips and voice box. God so. bless us, everyone. Yeah, God bless us, everyone. Yeah, for uh, you know another another healthy year, 2019. Onward. Onward, man. Gang, gang. Gang, gang, man. We'll see you guys next time. A lot of sweet little gifts. These shades are dope for the... Take a little time for me to set that parking brake and let myself all wild shine.